If you're a photographer or videographer on a budget, here is the perfect device for the run and gun type shoot for video and photography, 24 inch newer diffuser. And let's see how this can go together so you can start using it right now. The newer diffuser, a uh, little backstory. One of the problems I have is I bought a 40 inch inch collapsible umbrella uh, a while back and it was just too big when I was taking it on location. So I'm looking for something that I can use um, when I'm doing some of my run and gun shooting, uh, but at the same time, I can also use it with my light. What we've got is the newer collapsible umbrella. Kind of turn it so you can see. It comes like this. So it does come in a carry case, which I really, really like. And right now I have all the accessories on it that, that it comes with. So I've got the grid, I've got the, the bigger diffuser, uh, there's an inner diffuser, and then there's an inside baffle that co covers the exact light. And it's in a 24 inch octagonal umbrella. It collapses down and then all fits in a uh, carrying case. So the reason I got this was so I could use it as a remote shooting light, show you what it looks like. I'm gonna turn it on. Whoop. See if I can do that. So what's nice about the grid, what the grid does is it prevents the light from spilling out to the side. So maybe if you're focusing on a model or something very specific like a product, uh, the grid would be perfect for that because that's going to keep the light directed where you want but not going to spill out onto your background. Okay, so these are all the pieces that come with the package when you get the newer 24 inch collapsible umbrella and I'm just going to show you how it assembles. So we've got the biggest piece which is the umbrella itself. It has a Bowens mount. So these male pieces would actually clamp into my light, which I'm going to demonstrate in a little bit. This opens very much just like an umbrella. Just like that. And so we're going to be attaching things to, we've got an outer rim of Velcro. We've got a medium ring of Velcro attachment points. And then we've got our inner spindle down here at the bottom. So first thing I'm going to do is take this, which I believe is called a baffle. And that goes right down in there. Now the reason for this is that when you have your light mounted in there, if you, if you don't have anything that's obstructing the actual light, what it's going to do, it's actually going to shine straight through all your diffusing material. And uh, depending on the power of your light, you actually could blind your model. But at the same time, it, it could create hot spots within your set. First layer diffuser. And what I like to do is connect these on opposite sides first, just to get it stretched across the span. Okay, so that's the first level of diffusing. And then we've got the second layer. And so it's shaped like an octagon. And if you just kind of match the different lengths of the sides. We have this outer ring of Velcro. I make sure I put it near the bottom because our gridding is gonna go onto this very top layer. You just kind of attach all the corners and then you can fill in. Okay, so there, there you've got that. And then, so again, the grid would be something that's optional. If I was lighting maybe a wider area or a, wide, a wider set, I might not want to use this, but if I was doing product photography or working with a model and I wanted the light to stay right on the point of focus, I would use it. So let's show you how this goes on. And same thing, it's shaped like an octagon. Let's work with gravity. So I just stretch the corners. What I found is that the grid is a little bit larger than this span, so you don't have to be completely exact with your placement. You don't have to be exact with your placement to get it on there to be effective. So that's what we got there. If I wasn't making a video, I would recommend that you probably would want to mount the umbrella onto your light before you get it all assembled the way I have, just because being that this Bowens mount is on a ring where you could actually turn, fine tune the direction that it's facing, this also makes it a little more difficult to press the Bowens mount into, into the receiving slots and then give it a twist, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Three points, three points, okay. click. Okay, so what I found was easier is if I could kind of get a hold of the metal here and get a hold of the bones mount here before I got into place. So I would recommend mounting this first before you assemble the umbrella. This is what it looks like. I can mount it this way. 
light comes on, light my products. But a really good sized light, 24 inches across, this means I could take it out on location, I could use it in studio. Hey, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.